Hello, how are you? I'm good. What about good. you? Good, nice to meet you. Meet you too. Good morning. Where are you from? I'm from Saudi Arabia. I'm oh, talking nice. from Saudi Arabia. I'm originally from Pakistan. Okay. And uh, what's your name? Uh, I'm Sultan Ahmed Khan. Sorry, what's your first name? Sultan. Safan? Yes. Well, nice to meet you. My name is Caleb. I'm from Canada. Great. Great. And I'm actually so in, what Mex time is it there? in Mexico right now. Okay. okay. In Mexico, so, it's 2, 2 p.m. 2 p.m. So good afternoon. Yes. Yeah, so what time is it for you? Uh, it's 10 o'clock at night. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so how long have you been what speaking What do you do English? in Mexico? I've been living here for seven months. Seven months. So what do you do? Well, I work online. I work online. Okay. okay. How about you? Uh, I'm a teacher and I teach English in Saudi Arabia. And, oh, nice. Uh, yes. It has been two years since I came to Saudi Arabia. Okay. Do you like it? Yes. I love it. What, what do you like about it? Teaching. Teaching is actually right. my passion. I like to teach. And I have been teaching for last uh, seven to eight years. So that's why. That's good. So, what about so you, you got you hired there for a job? I do consulting and trading and then English tutoring. Oh, okay. I beg your pardon, you said something. Oh, I was just wondering, uh, you got hired there? Is that why you moved there? Because of a job? Yes, exactly. Okay. So, what's it like living there? It's good. Um, Saudi Arabia is a very peaceful country. So, it is much better than my own country, Pakistan. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know much about Pakistan. Did you want to tell me a little bit uh, about Pakistan? Just a little bit. Yes. Yes. Why not? Uh, have you heard of India? India? Yes. No. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Of course. Of course. Okay. So Pakistan is just next to India, and uh, we have so many common things like Indians. Even the language is uh, much similar. Okay. So, yes. And it is basically a Muslim country and same as uh, Saudi Arabia. Yes. Can you just repeat that last part? I missed what, what you said there. I said that uh, Saudi Arabia, like Saudi Arabia, Pakistan is yes. also a Muslim country. Okay, okay. So how is, uh, what was that country you are residing in? I'm in Mexico right now. Mexico, yes. Yeah. Do you like Mexico? Yes, I do. It's sunny every day. <laughs> Almost every okay. day. It's warm okay. all year round. And I like that mm -hmm. because Canada gets Great. winter. I don't, I don't like winter. <laughs> uh, so do I. I also like uh, summer. Yes. Yes. So you told me you have been there for seven months? About seven months, yeah. Okay. So why did you move to Mexico? Because it was winter time in Canada. Uh -huh. Okay. Winter was coming okay. in Canada, so I left to go to Mexico where it's warm. 
<laughs> okay. Okay. This is the first time you have visited Mexico, or you just keep coming no. over there? No, I've been to Mexico before. Okay. Yeah. Great. So, mm -hmm. I forgot. Did you say how old you were? Uh, I am thirty-four. Thirty-four. Yes. What about you? Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. So, do you have family and stuff? Like, are you married and kids or no? Yes, I'm married, but I don't have kids. Uh, no, no kids. I got, yes, I got married in 2016. I'm with my family here in Saudi Arabia. Yes. What and about you? A, Are you married? Uh, no, I have a girlfriend and a cat. Cat? Yes. Do you have any pets? Yes, let me show you. Uh, wait. This one. Is that a little baby, a kitten? Oh my yes, gosh, she's, a kitten. She's cute. I have just bought it. Can you show me again? Yes. Can you show me again? Yes, why not? Why not? <laughs> she's cute. <laughs> yes, cute. She lo she loves you. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, so how old your cat is? My cat is about one and a half years old, so she's still pretty young, and she's very cute, also. Great, great. If you, she might come walking by in the middle of the lesson. <laughs> <laughs> she likes to walk okay. by in, in, on top of the laptop. Yes, and I have noticed the same thing with her. Yeah. She 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 likes to walk uh, on the keypad. Yeah. Uh, we also take our cat to the beach. <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh, yeah, does she, she enjoy it? Yeah, she she doesn't like the water, but she likes going to the beach. She's the only <laughs> cat at the beach. <laughs> Here Great. she comes. Great. Here so, she comes. Um, oh, she's she's here. She's here. Go ahead. <laughs> so, what is her name? Mona. Mona. Who named Mona. her? Uh, both you? of us. Both of us. Uh, it it sounds like an Arabic name, Mona, or a Muslim I think name. It, I think it means something in Arabic. Uh, mm -hmm. I forget what though. Okay. Um, because I spoke to another client from uh, Saudi Arabia and she told me that my cat's name means something like mystery or something. Okay. I forget. Okay. I forget. Okay. So what's... Uh, so, <clears throat> do you like keeping pets? I, I love my cat. Okay, uh, so apart from cat, uh, have you ever kept uh, any other animal like dogs or parrots or? Yeah, when I was younger, um, like we had dogs growing up, not cats. Okay. So, so where is that dog now? Cat, cats are kind of, you have a dog too? No, no, no. You please continue. I was just saying that I ha I learned to like cats mm -hmm. in my adulthood. Okay. Growing up, our family was more of a dog family. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So do you ha uh, still have that dog? No, I don't have a dog. But okay. I would get one. I, I might get the dog. I think that it would be good for my cat to have a dog. <laughs> yeah. They, they would uh, bug each other. Feel lonely. Yeah. 
Yeah. They can fight and stuff. Uh, Play around. <laughs> exactly. How long have you been on Cambly? Um, it has been a long journey. Uh, I started taking classes on Cambly previous year. And then I have been on Cambly like on and off. Yeah. Yes. You just need to maintain your English speaking, right? Uh, I beg your pardon? For somebody like you, it's helpful to practice once in a while speaking English so that you, you, don't, lose it, so that you don't lose it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And especially with native speakers, it is very good. Yeah. Uh, to practice English. Yeah, I understand that. Mm -hmm. So how is the situation in Canada? Well, I haven't been there for a while, but I know that it's... Uh, you can't get into the country without doing a quarantine. Okay. If, you, if you go to Canada right now, mandatory... Three day quarantine, two thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, what is this amount for? Two thousand dollars. Three days at a hotel of the government's choice. <laughs> uh, oh my god! <laughs> three okay, days. Okay. Three days. Crazy. Oh my god. Crazy. It's expensive. Crazy. And uh, what about the vaccination? People are getting vaccinated there? I'm not sure. I think probably some people are. There's also protests going on in big cities like Toronto. Okay. I think it's the same everywhere, oh, man. Uh, Anti-lockdown protests. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yes, the uh, situation is very difficult in all the countries. We are getting vaccinated in Saudi Arabia and most of my friends have got vaccinated uh, but not me but I am planning to. You're planning to? Yeah. Yes. Because before I was a skeptical that yeah, uh, whether I... should I go for it or not. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I will get vaccinated I understand. Uh, I understand your skepticism. Uh, I I also ha yes. I also had this fear, but they are making it mandatory for all the people. So uh -huh. I don't know if they can ever do that. Like, well, yeah, because so, uh, there'll be like a maybe you war. know that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but uh, people here abide by the laws. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they, they do not rebel. Like some place like the United States, mandatory vaccinations, no way. Exactly. In Pakistan, this is the same situation. Uh, in Pakistan, a lot of people still believe that uh, corona is a myth. And uh, it is just uh, the government and the people are just staging a drama. Yeah. It's not real. Yeah, who knows? Just wanted to ask about uh, your cat. Sure. So what, what is the breed? Uh, what type of a cat it is? She's domestic short hair. Domestic short hair? Yes. She's black. Okay. All black? All black. Uh, what about the eyes? Color? I'm gonna... They're like uh, gold. Gold? Like a yellow, a yellowish gold. Okay. So when you call her name, uh, does she come to you? 
She definitely looks. <laughs> but doesn't come. <laughs> she some sometimes she comes, but cats don't mm. really come when you call them. <laughs> yeah. But she knows her name. That's good. Actually, I haven't She's... named my cat yet. I'm still in a process of thinking. Yeah. Our cats traveled with us from Canada on the airplane. Great. So I heard it. She's been with us all the time. Great. Great. So I heard it that uh, cats, pets also have their own passport. This is the first time I heard it, that uh, the animals also have the passport in order to travel. Cool. No, she doesn't have a passport, but she has paperwork. Okay. So do you, do you have to pay for the ticket? of uh, the pet yes it's cheaper oh, okay. though than cheaper than my ticket okay okay so do you it's like a it's like a hundred yes please go, go ahead. ahead yeah it's like it's not a lot okay it's cheaper hmm. uh i just wanted to ask you that uh in the aeroplane, you can you can keep your pet with you, or they have uh, a separate separate place. It depends how big they are and how much they weigh. But cats are very light; mm -hmm. they're very small cats, you mm -hmm. know. So they travel right on. She uh, sits right in the seat with us, in in her carrying bag. Okay. Uh, how long does your cat sleep in a day? Well, she's nocturnal. She stays up at night. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And she sleeps a lot. And during the day? She sleeps a lot during the day. She sleeps a lot during the day, ah. off and on. Hmm. And she stays up at night a lot. So how do you manage? She probably doesn't let you sleep at night then. No, she lets us sleep, but she wakes us up sometimes too. Uh, I get up really early anyway. Mm. Like today, I got up at 2.30 in the morning today. So what do you do? Waking up uh, early? At work. No, work. I have lots of work. <laughs> okay. So it, it seems to be that you are also nocturnal. Uh, not by choice. <laughs> the alarm goes off. <laughs> ah, okay. So, how long have you been on Cambly? Ah, uh, less than a year on Cambly. Great. And how is your experience up to now? It's pretty good. Great. I think this is. I think this is the second best way to learn English. Exactly. I do agree with you. You know. You know what the first, the number one way is, you know. Uh, watching movies? No, move to an English-speaking country. Ah, yes. But not everyone can do it. Yeah. I know. So this is the next best thing, the second best way. Yes. Exactly. This is better than, this is better than studying grammar. Uh, Way better. Oh, uh, yes. Yes. You don't need to... Uh, I have to... Study grammar then. Well, I have to explain that to a lot of students. Mm. A lot of students study grammar for years, but they can't speak very well. Yes, <laughs> I totally agree with you. But once, once they get on here and I explain to them... Mm that this is the most important thing. Just talk freely and don't, don't worry about mistakes. Then uh, it, all, it all starts to happen naturally. Yes, you, you eventually get to speak English uh, when, you, when you practice. Yes. But uh, you are, yes. this is the problem that some people are very good at grammar. They know the structure, they know yes. the rules, but they still are unable to speak 
whenever they speak they get stuck yes uh, this is a good advice practice yes. yeah they don't get any experience speaking yes so when they're reading when they're reading mm-hmm. they're in control of the time but when they're in a conversation mm-hmm. they have to give up some of that control of time so it makes them get, have anxiety and they can't think mm-hmm. do you understand yes sometimes it also happens that uh, even it happens with me that uh, when i speak english i pause i get stuck so and i just keep thinking of the word so i need to think it's because of social pressure because you're in a conversation with another person and you're aware of this mm. so it changes the way your brain works whereas if you're just reading by yourself you're relaxed because you're on your own time your own schedule yeah. to read that sentence so i have to explain this to people yeah and when people realize what i'm saying it's such a stress reliever <laughs> yes yeah. a lot of people a lot of people are trying really hard to learn english quickly mm. and they they don't they get frustrated because they don't understand why it's so hard to learn how to speak it's because they focus on grammar not on speaking yes yes yeah. exactly do you speak a lot of english day in and day out no unfortunately i don't uh, but i used to speak i used to practice previously and uh, i have noticed it uh, even i have observed it at that time my spoken was way better and i could speak fluently but now because i'm not in practice i cannot practice daily so i'm not that much fluent and even i'm i'm also forgetting the vocabulary because of the same reason yeah yeah Yeah, second languages are always like that. Yes. But when you you speak Pakistan? Uh I in Pakistan we speak Urdu. It's like Hindi. Okay, so when you showed up for school when you were a little boy, mm-hmm. you were already fluent in that language. Yes. Before you studied anything. Yes. Do you understand? Without grammar. It's the environment without grammar it's the environment mm. and and when i explain this to my to students the the light switch in their brain goes off it turns on <laughs> yes but it's it's uh, like it is obvious that in order to learn how to ride a bicycle you need to ride it you don't need to just yes you can't You can't read about yeah. it. You have to ride ride the bicycle. Yes. Practice <laughs> makes the man perfect. Yes. But you know what? How many people how many people don't know that? Hmm. Yes. Most people they haven't thought about this. Exactly. They are ob- they believe respect. They believe that they have to study grammar harder. Hmm. <laughs> yes. uh because in schools yeah. in colleges uh we are taught grammar and even even the schools yes. and colleges focus on teaching grammar rather than uh just teaching them spoken and communication the this is stuff yes yes the fastest way to learn is just a social circle of no judgment yes 